Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. All right, let's get into it, Taurus. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. So let's start with love. Let's see what's going on for love uh, for you, Taurus. What? Are, okay. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe you felt like you found the one. The Lover's card. Yeah. It could be a highly sexual connection. Maybe um, you've got to take a break and determine what the future looks like for this connection here. Something is up in the air. Yeah, high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So this may be um, one of these hidden connections here. Or uh, there's suspicion that there's somebody else, especially with the lovers here. Something Okay, so something's changed within a connection. And it might be that there is somebody that's causing interference. that, And you're, you're trying real hard to keep your person's... Um, attention or to get their attention you have suspicions of infidelity you're trying to do some investigative work and it's like you're up for for the challenge even if you do find out that there's somebody else but you're not sure if they want you or the other person or if they want both or if they like juggling this person may even like juggling and this could be you Taurus there could be a secret woman in the background who's playing her part, who's not doing anything. Somebody on the other side of this, the one who is getting cheated on, may feel like they need to make some decision to walk away. And it's a decision out of self-respect. Like, I'm not going to continue to be disrespected or disregarded. I'm trying hard to keep this person's attention, affection on me. But it's, it's hard. Especially when they they like going in between two different people. Some feminine energy might just choose herself, choose to find peace, serenity by the, by themselves. Or just go talk to other girlfriends about this. Maybe let your friends help you. Yeah. So that's what I have for you in love, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you in terms of career and finance. Career and finance. Some of you, you might have, this is having a baby, monumental achievement. Then there's a baby. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Career and finance for Taurus. Or you might just start to put more energy into yourself and have that monumental achievement. This person's going to see you shining. Just continue to doing what you're doing. All right, Taurus. Career and finance, 10 of cups. So there was some difficulty, but now things are coming out kind of uh, on, on the winning side for you, fortunate for you. The two of pentacles, you're doing a lot of work, very busy. A lot is going on around you. It could be shifting gears here, shifting money from one account to another. You could be an entrepreneur, the leader here in your organization with the king of wands here, giving direction, delegating. You have a sense of um, intuition. Also, you could be very tied to your home. Maybe you work from home here. Uh, the universe it looks like you're gonna take something to the next level here close one chapter out and go to the next it is done it's over with you have the empress start something new um, something abundant something giving maybe you'll be bringing other people into the fold here yeah nine of cups yeah getting what you want what you wish for maybe a happier times finding emotional stability by doing something by yourself yeah eight of pentacles doing it you know day and night night and day wash rinse repeat this could be like the start of a new business trying to get it to you know a self-sustaining energy where you can be kind of hands off where you're not working as much overworked workaholic um, being prudent with your time and your money knowing that if you continuously get something in that cycle in a ball like a wheel a wheel goes in a cycle and it and it propels maybe a car a bus 
some mode of transportation to the next destination. So it's just like you gotta, that's how you have to look at your business as the wheel. You are the wheel. Continue to do, continue to do the same thing over again, and then you're gonna be moved to the next destination. Then you know, gonna have movement in your business here. So doing something, putting that work in, that's what work does for you. All right, yeah, find the stability. Yeah, maybe even um, getting to get getting a large sum of money, or just finding um, getting a new title here, and uh, finding that you are um, in a different. Okay, I hear a different tax bracket also, um, but definitely find the stability in what what you have created, and what you're going to continuously do. Um, maybe getting out of the stagnant. The stagnancy of it stagnant energy because you've been resilient you didn't give up don't give up before the miracle actually happens because it looks like it will happen for you yeah. a new beginning something new will develop for you so it looks really good in career and finance uh love and romance could be a little messy um this is what i have for you let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section let me know if it resonated for you if it didn't what part resonated for you um, be the will. Put some wheels down in the comment section. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Come over to the live sessions every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m., where you can ask questions. You can just come for the collective reading. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you click the notification button so that you can get notification when we are live. Um, also, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Thank you guys. Again, take care. Blessings.